place in perspective for me what you're seeing out of LeBron, Kevin? Well, I mean, same thing I've seen out of him most of his career. The guy is, is, is a fantastic, unbelievably gifted basketball player. He's got the vision. He sees the entire floor. He's got a really, really high basketball IQ. His shot's been improving ever since he got in the league. But his ability to help a team win has been there since he stepped on the floor. He can rebound the ball. He can defend it. He, you know, how about, Think about some of those blocks from behind that he's so famous for, running guys down and blocking shots. And he just is a, he, he's a kind of a hybrid of a lot of different players. Uh, but LeBron's unique unto himself. I mean, he's got some of the magic in Larry's just size with the ability to look over the, the floor. Um got just the, the ability to put the ball on the floor and attack the rim like a Michael Jordan did when Michael was younger. His shot, like as I said, has just been improving. He's been playing that little fadeaway one-legger. He's got we're going right now is ridiculous, especially against Toronto. I, every time he shoots, I'm like, that can't go in. Uh, but it goes in. And, you know, the, the, the guys, are, is, 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 every once in a while, they're, they're, they're generational-type players. But he's been that since he's got in. And the fact that he's 33 and still doing it, and um, really, in some ways, um, just becoming more efficient at his game is really an amazing feat. But he's, he's, he's like one of those, man, let me tell you something, Will comes along, uh, you know, the Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, Matt Johnson changes the NBA around in the late 70s, Michigan State, uh, Indiana State taking to the NBA, changing the game forever, really. And, and uh, LeBron's right in there with those guys. He's once in a generation type player. So uh, what, what do you think it is about somebody that um, can take the beating and perform as well as he seems to be performing at his highest level at age 33? I mean, what was it like for you as you uh, were playing at that age or, or Larry when you were around well, him, Kevin? Well, we got beat up, though. So, I mean, everything's relative. I mean, you know, we, we had, um, you know, for us in the Celtics and most teams, you have a six, seven, eight-year run, and um, – you know, that that's kind of comes to an end. You know, Kareem had a different run. He won one with the Milwaukee Bucks, you know, Bill Jabbar, one of the best players ever. Then he had a long run. He had a six, seven, eight year run with the Lakers. But that there, there you know, there there are very few teams that have these long, long runs because everybody gets beat up. So by the time we were thirty three, we had been beaten up, had some surgeries, had to, you know, just your body had just um wasn't able to respond. You could still go out and and you could still go out and score. I mean, there was, there was, you could go out and put numbers up on a board, but you weren't able to dominate the game. He's still able to pass the ball, attack, get by people. Get you know, he hasn't had any major uh, injuries, thank goodness. And so he's just kind of a freak of nature uh, that way. I think even even by the time Michael was in his you know his game, his game had changed. Still efficient, but. More of a more, more of a post up guy, fade away. Yeah, you know, Michael's game had changed as as time went on, and um, LeBron's pretty amazing just because of the the health. So it's so hard to say uh, the difference because you know I had had um, had had I not had injuries, I don't think I, I think playing at 33 would have been a lot easier. It was the injuries that that just just you know, in a cast, half a year, coming out, rehabbing, trying to play. It just, you know, those things just beat you down as a player. I'm so ha- happy to see that LeBron hasn't had that and is still able to play. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.